Welcome back, guys. We're now at the one year and three month mark of our 41 way coatings and sealants longevity test. And while this test is getting towards the end of its lifespan, I think that this record heat that we've been having, it's done it in the rest of the way pretty close and you'll see here in a minute every single day last month was over 100 degrees fahrenheit or 38 degrees celsius with some days even hotter than that and very little rain so panel surface temperatures in excess of 180 degrees fahrenheit or 83 degrees celsius so as usual we're going to go ahead and foam everything down using chemical guys honeydew snow foam rinse it foam it again wash it and then of course rinse everything off to inspect the hydrophobic properties before drying everything off and what you will notice oh, so while I do regret using a silver hood, I am going to edit it slightly in post. So it may do weird things like turn my pressure washer into a flamethrower or whatever you'll see here in just a moment. But if you've got a minute, hit that like button, smash the subscribe button if you haven't already, and let me know in the comments if you've used any of these products or if you've got similar results. It's so hot. It is hot. So here we go, C-Quartz Professional. We're gonna call that one failed. One year, three months. Secord's finest reserve was right behind it last month, so no surprise there. DPC, Dallas Paint Correction T3. Man, it's done too. T9 still going though, look at that. Moving over to Apex Metal Oxide Coating. It's done. Man, it's just, this month has been hard on this test. Of course, they were already getting kind of weak. Nanoskin Ultra T1 and T3 Pro, both of those are done. Just incredible. It's like they all fail right around the same time. NGNT Pro 1K also failed, but Pro 1K Plus still doing all right. It's very weak, but the surface tension does break and it is still, still working, but 1K has failed. Avalon King, yep, failed there too. I guess when they start to get weak, add a little heat, a lot of heat, and they just not, not gonna hold up. Nano Age Nano Bond, there is just a little bit hanging on there. I don't think we'd call it failed, but we'll call it weak. Warregion, gonna have a failure there too. Wow, man, they're just falling left and right here. Drive Auto 9H. I think we're going to call that one failed too. And Meguiar's Hybrid Paint Coating. Man, just one after another. This is incredible. That one's failed too. Underdog the Sauce Pro. What is going on here? Yep, it's done. Gloss at 10H, it's done. Wow. Gloss at 5H, it's done. NGNT Pro 2K, still a little bit going on. NGNT Pro 3K, still extremely hydrophobic. You've heard me talk about that in the past. That's a company from Switzerland that they're gonna enter the US market and other markets under a different name and I don't have that info yet. G-Technic Ultra, very weak, but it's still hanging in there. IGL Easy Graphene, that's rated as a one-year coating. It is also dead. Man, what are we gonna have, like a dozen failures this month? This is insane. For those of you saying it's clogged up, of course, at the end of the test, which by the looks of this, it's gonna be a year and a half, we will do a decon wash and see if we can bring any of these back, but we are gonna mark them failed in the meantime. Chemical Guys Carbon Force also failed. So there we go, guys. Lots of failures this month. NGNT Pro 3K, that, that would be the standout. There's a few others still going, G-Technic Ultra. Dallas Paint Correction T9. As much as I don't care for the guy, it's, it's a decent product. And Nano Age, maybe just a hair. Very, very weak. But wow, what a change. One heck of a change for this month's update. And as you, as you heard me say, we are going to do a decon wash and we'll do our CarPro descale, CarPro reset, et cetera, at, after we're done doing the one and a half year mark, which is when I'm gonna call this test. So thanks again for watching, guys. We'll see you soon.
Hi guys, and I'm Scott's daughter, and before you end this video, you should like, subscribe, and hit that bell. And I hope you enjoyed this video, so bye!